When peace like a river attendeth my way When sorrows like sea billows roll Welcome to another episode of Living Supernaturally. Uh, in this series, we're looking at some of the songs that have inspired the church, challenged the church, to, and also um, instructed the church to live for Jesus. In Ephesians 5, we read about being filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, and making melody in our hearts to the Lord. And some of these hymn writers had literally done that in, but in very tragic circumstances. And this hymn, It Is Well, was um, uh, written in the 1800s. In 1873, Horatio Spafford um, was, uh, wanted to go to Europe, uh, but because of some business, he stayed back, in, uh, stayed back, but his wife and children went ahead of him in the ship. And four days into this journey, the ship collided with another ocean liner and sank in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, his wife was the only one who survived. Four daughters drowned. The wife reached the shores and after some days sent a telegram, saved alone, what shall I do? And Horatio Spafford uh, took another ship, booked another ship and, and he went to meet his wife. And four days again into the journey, the captain called him and informed him that they were over the region where the ship sank. And uh, Horatio Spafford, in that journey, he wrote the words to this hymn, It is well, it is well with my soul. So, uh, what we learn about Horatio Spafford and his wife Anna is that after that, they picked up the pieces of their lives they raised another family, they even adopted a son, and they went about doing some good charitable work among uh, different communities. They in fact moved to Jerusalem and uh, they did some amazing charitable work over there. Um, so what we see is that the grace of God empowers us, even in the face of such tragic situations, to pick up the pieces of our lives and continue on in our journey with God. Now, you might be having a question or you might be going through some tragic times and having this question, why? Why Lord? Why me? Why us? Well, we may never know the answer in its entirety in this side of heaven, but we do know for sure that our God is with us. The God of hope and the God of comfort, His love and His grace sustains us and He strengthens us with His peace. Though Satan should buffet, though trials should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ hath regarded my helpless estate and hath shed his own blood for my soul let's sing together it is well it is well with my it is well, it is well with my soul. Oh, it is.
is well, it is well with my soul. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, God. It is always well with us because you are the captain. You are the savior of our soul who goes before us, God. And our lives are in your hands. Our times are in your hands. Father, we thank you that you are the redeemer who is able to redeem the broken pieces of our lives. And you put together and bring to completion, God. And you make and create a thing of beauty of our lives. We thank you. Thank you for strengthening us. Thank you for comforting us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.